video will be covering the theoretical concepts and important formulas required for starting this new chapter that is joint probability distribution and sampling theory. So let's first understand what joint probability distribution is. So if x and y are two discrete random uh, variables, then joint probability distribution of x and y is defined as p of xy is equal to f of xy where f of xy should satisfy these two conditions that is it has to be greater than or equal to 0 and uh, summation of f of xy should always be equal to 1 yes so moving on to the next topic we have that is joint probability distribution table so uh, in order to represent the x and y discrete random variables we make use of a table so this table is a two way table containing all set of values of x and y and f of x i y i so this side you have all the y values here and this side you have all the x values and here f of x and g of y are called as marginal probability distribution so uh, these g of these are all the marginal probability values marginal values for calculating f of x1 you should add j uh, this one j11 plus j12 plus j13 and all of that you'll get f of x1 we'll understand how to calculate j11 so j11 can be calculated as x1 into y1 okay x1 into y1 gives j11 x1 into y2 gives j12 similarly yeah this is how joint probability is uh, a joint probability and marginal probability distribution is calculated so one thing to remember is that the sum of all here the sum of all uh, g's g of y till g of y n and all f of x n if you add it you will get 1 so yes that's what is given here so the sum of marginal distributions is always equal to 1 and then we have a condition for uh, variables to be independent so if the variables are independent then f of x i into g of y a should be equal to j i j so in the further examples we will understand how this uh, independent uh, rule works then uh, we'll uh, we have to move on to the important set of formulae required for this uh, for this module so the first one is expectation of x so expectation of x is xi into f of xi expectation of y is yi into g of yi summation of yi into g of yi yes and expectation of xy is xi yi xi yj into j of ij so it's like multiplying both next we have a uh, variance variance of x is uh, e of x square minus e of x ka whole square and here variance of y is e of y square minus e of y whole square e of x whole square is xi square f of xi e of y whole square is yj into g of yj and covariance is covariance of xy is cov xy is e of xy minus e of x into e of y and correlation is covariance of xy by uh, correlation uh, covariance of xy by sigma x into sigma y so in the next video we'll start with the numericals that's when you'll understand how to solve the questions exactly so if you have any doubts do let me know and subscribe to my channel thank you